Man, man, what's going on, guys? Carlota here, back with another video on your screen. Um, it's been a minute since I've been on the screen, but I've uh, been doing a lot behind the scenes. You know, I want to welcome back to the channel, you know, one of the biggest supporters that's been riding with the channel since day one. Um, you know, Jaleel, Riddick, Too Cool, or it's this, it's crazy, you know, Too Cold. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's a wild, uh, wild ride, bro. But how yeah, you been sure. doing? And, um, you know, when we last talked, you were out here in San Antonio. Yeah. You know, uh, grinding at Davies Entertainment. Yeah. Uh, so talk about your transition, bro. What, um, what inspired, what, what made you make that move for your career? Uh, shit, man. It was just a lot going on in San Antonio, you know, like, uh, like uh, oh the support the support and stuff like that wasn't wasn't the same okay so i had to move around and find a feel that was for me you know uh so now here in vegas i'm training and fighting out of top rank so like a lot of things been going great you know my coach uh is saeed al harat uh he used to be a fighter he was good a real good pro you know he fought on the undercards of mayweather on uh, the ricky Hatton bouts and the pacquiao bouts and he was Ricky Ricky had and sparring partner actually preparing for Floyd. And uh, you know, he sparred guys such as Zab Judah and all those people. So, you know, he 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 did a lot of uh, great things already. So like I'm just basically living in his in, in his shadow, you know, like mirroring everything that he was doing before. He's just basically installing all that in me right now. So yeah. everything was going good. That's dope, bro. That's super dope. You know, I'm excited for you, bro. I know I've been a part of top rank. Since yeah. we last talked, you know, a couple times, and uh, they've been showing me a lot of love, bro. And you know, that's been one of my goals is to go out to the gym over there in Vegas, and yeah. uh, see how everyone working, you know, and do interviews out there. Um, sure. what's one thing, bro? Since you've been there, um, who have you sparred, bro? That you know, that's like hasn't been on camera or hasn't been pictured, you know, with it. What you mean, like? Like have like you barely, get, you barely get pictures with anybody, but like one of the guys that really stood out to me that that gave me a lot of real good work was was uh Kenneth Summers Jr. He's now signed to Golden Boy. He a real good fighter, man. So y'all need to stay tuned and watch out for him. He he definitely gonna be somebody y'all need to keep an eye on. Bad bro, bad. So with everything that you've done so far, you know, making the transition, you know, talk about your last fight, bro. Leading up to, I know it was a quite a few <laughs> obstacles that always came through, right? That Yeah, so I, I was supposed to have a bunch of first, like, my, my fights. Like, April 27th, I was supposed to fight on Andrew Tabidi's undercard in um, Philadelphia at the Leah Cora Center. Uh, my f first two opponents pulled out for that one. Then we, like, basically, like, things was just, the time was running out, basically, like, to, to settle something and make something happen for that bout. So, you know, I just kept staying in the gym, training, going to strength and conditioning. Uh, then uh, the next bout, I believe that was June 29th, that was supposed to happen. It was supposed to be another card for uh, the Philadelphia promoter, Teflon Promotions, and then the opponents pulled out for that one. Then we had my my fight scheduled in, in Mexico for the first time, and uh, we got there to fight night. You know, we had the weigh-ins already, and we was already suited up for fight night, and the opponent pulled out the night of the fight. So that was, like, real, like, like, it, it was, like, kind of, like, fucking with my head a little bit, you know? Like, I'm like, damn, like, because, like, you know, you're itching to fight. You're going through these camps, cutting weight, stuff like that. So, it like, kind of burns you out when, when you go through all that and then nobody shows up to fight. So then, now this bout, uh, the, the guy I actually got on the scale with, it was a separation in our weight. For whatever reason, the bout was scheduled at 154, but he came to the weigh-ins at 140. Okay. So, yeah, I don't know. Like, the promoter told him that he didn't. Like, the guy was just cutting weight for no reason, basically. I don't know what the whole thing behind that was, but it was a lot of confusion with that. So he pulled out, but the promoter, uh, shout out to War Boxing Promotions, uh, Ernesto, he found me a, 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 a bout quick, a new opponent, and, you know, we showed up the next day and dominated. I think the fight only lasted 52 seconds, the first round, so. Damn. Wow. Yeah. I know, yeah. like, I've known you have, um, You've gone through obstacles, you know, live and, and in the ring. Yeah. Uh, I know everyone doesn't like to talk about their their time that they that they've been into the ring and they lost. Yeah. Um, 
but you've you've capitalized on the situation, bro, and I think you you have a better head on your shoulders now. Yeah, 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 for sure. You know, like I, I already knew the things that came with my my obstacle for my loss. You know, like uh, I'm Muslim, so like during the month of Ramadan, I have to fast. You know, like it's it's a man it's mandatory with my religion unless you're an elderly or a sick individual that has an illness that prevents you from fasting, then fasting is a priority. And, you know, there's no way around it. Uh, however, I fasted, but it was also at the time period where I needed to cut weight for the fight. So when you fast and you eat, you can eat at, at 4 a.m. in the morning, we give sahur. Sahur is like breakfast, basically, but then you're not allowed to eat until the sun sets, which is around 8.30 at night, 8 o'clock at night. So those are all them hours uh even Selena Barrios, she'll tell you guys, like, I was I was sparring with no water. You can't drink water. I was sparring with no food in my belly. So I was going through camp, like a rough camp. And at the time period of when I could eat, which is at nighttime, is typically when boxers aren't even supposed to eat. Because at nighttime, that's when your body holds on to the weight because you're least active. So if you're cutting weight, you're kind of like moving backwards in a situation, in a sense, you know? So... My body was already drained from that. It was a lot of confusion coming down to the weigh-ins. Uh, a lot of guys on that card they were receiving the IVs and stuff through the through the through the Davies Entertainment uh, phys like training center area. Like it was an IV mobile company that was there. And however, I was one of the only fighters sponsored by them, but I was the only fighter that wasn't allowed to get the IV for whatever reason. You know, wow. uh, a bunch of the other guys that was on the card they received the IV. You know. Everything was on camera written down, you know, but me, I couldn't receive it. Uh, we was informed, me and my team was informed that it was illegal to receive IVs, which is true. But yeah. if everybody on the card is doing it, then it's like, what the hell, you know? Yeah, exactly, bro. So I came into that fight dehydrated, still dominated, was winning all the rounds. I just got, got caught with a punch that I shouldn't have got caught with. And, you know, one thing led to another. Yeah. But, I just knew in my mind, it just made me hungrier to bounce back. So, yeah, absolutely, bro. I know I've been seeing you work ethic, bro. Um, that shit's been killing, you know. Yeah. I've, been, I've been motivated, bro. Like, I've been, um, even been uh, messaged by a few people, you know, uh, people, a dude in Philadelphia, um, saying, oh, man, you know, uh, you know, Jaleel, that's my brother, you know? Yeah, 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 for sure, man. He's all like, he's like, man, like, what kind of advice can you give me and this and that? And it's it's humbling, bro. It's humbling to, you know, this is all started like way back then, you know? Yeah, 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 man. You've been, man, you've been locked in since uh, I was training with GT. It was yeah, GT. Well, yeah, so it's, it's a long time, man. It's, it's all paying off, though, you know? Yep. So what's the, what's the next big thing you got you got planned, bro, that you can, oh, you can announce? I fight, I fight again. I, I got another date. I fight again November 16th. And then after that, uh, my coach, he, he's from Morocco. So he has some international bouts that we may get, like some some movement we may get in England, so like London, like different places. Y'all y'all going to hear a lot. You know, like there's going to be a lot of big things coming for me in the future. Uh, also, L.A., we we may we may have something cooking up out there, but right now we just focusing on November sixteenth. Hell yeah, where's that fight gonna be at, bro? Uh, that fight is in Mexico, and then I will come back from there, and we possibly either be in LA or get one of those international bouts. Hell yeah, bro, that's what's up. You know, I'm very excited for you, and um, and you deserve it too, bro. You you put a lot of work in, and um, however this year ends, bro, I know it's gonna end good for you. Oh yeah, and for sure. Um, you can shout out, bro. Like, shout out all your sponsors, bro. Like the guys that oh, have been yeah, here. man. So I got too many to shout out, but uh, the ones that sit at the top of my head that's been major, major, majorly supportive. Uh, like Eminem Prolapse, uh, uh Sax uh Styles, their their clothing line and and chest out of Chester, PA, Philadelphia area. Uh, you know, uh, my guy Manny has Las Vegas, uh, t Las Vegas Towing Company. Uh, we have uh, I mean, I'm sorry, Las Vegas Forklift Company. I'm sorry. Uh, we also have uh, Pat, my Pat. This is my nutritionist right now. He has a he has a business. Shout out to him. Shout out to uh, my guy Ernie from uh, Everlast. They sponsored me. Uh, Adams. I'm signed with Adams, so they provide all my my shoes and stuff like that. Uh, off the top, uh, what am I missing? E cleaning. My boy Elijah. Uh, Shamrock. Uh, he has a carpet company 
Uh, there's so many. A&R Landscaping, shout out to them. Shout out to uh, mm, Tacos. They here out here in Las Vegas. They're, it's a taco stand right now, but the business is going to be growing. It's also going to be something I'm going to be investing in into the future. So we're we're, we're making up business plans together. Uh, am I missing? Shout out to shout out to Top Rank. Shout out to Frank. Um, my guy Frank Steele, man. My, that's my uncle. You know, he looks out for me. Holds holds me and the team down. Gives us a, the gym to train out of. You know allows us in on days where he's not even supposed to like doesn't even have the gym open for you know the public uh who am i missing uh if i i can't remember everybody off the top oh risk 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 uh risk flickers barbershop man shout out to them too you know they they sponsored me big for this last pass fight uh if i missed anybody i'm so sorry bro like it's been a long day i just got out of training I just came back from therapy, so it's like my brain is foggy with remembering all of them. Shout out to Adidas as well. They was they sponsored me for my previous uh fights before. Uh I, I can't remember everybody off the head, but if 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 it if if I miss you, like uh, like I said, I'm sorry, I apologize, but you all are appreciated. And you know, I'm just gonna keep working, keep winning, and it's only up from here. Facts, bro, facts. And then before I forget, man, you know. Oh, I'm talk. sorry. That box raw. Shout out to box raw. I knew, knew it was somebody that I, like I was sitting right at the tip of my tongue. Shout out to box raw for sponsoring me as well. Thanks, bro. Yeah, because I seen that too, bro. I seen, I seen how you post about them, and I'm like, man, that's big, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They came right through, there. man. Uh, shout out to Chrissy Ingram, man. She she definitely showed me big love, and you know, everything is going on the up and up. True, bro. Yeah, man. All my sponsors as well. Um, you know, Green Air Co. You know, uh, heating and um, you know, they're they're the best in the state. And um, you know, you got iconic pool. You know, if y'all mm -hmm. need y'all's pools plastering, you know, they're the best. You know, you got truck bits of Texas that's been riding with me since day one. Um, all your truck bid needs, any truck essentials that y'all need, get at them. And then barrio made clothing. Um, two ten, bro. Always doing big things. Is uh sponsored a lot of fighters, and uh, thank you for sponsoring me in my journey. And then uh, Christopher Diaz, the best cut man in the game today. I know there's a lot of cut mans out there. Um, that dude family right there though, and yeah. you know got rich, you know from Fade Box. You know y'all go book y'all's appointments here in the San Antonio area. Um, link will be in the bio. And then you got JD and Associates LLC, you know, the best tax guy in booking in the game. And um, you got my boy, Big Bro, with his uh his mobile detailing, and it's the best. And uh working 24-7. And you got powerhouse trans uh transport, you know, always doing big things. They also work with Davies Entertainment, and um, they've done a lot, you know, with Kansas City Chiefs uh last season. And then um you got um Garcia AA Bell Bonds, best Bell Bonds in the state. You know, for they'll get you back on the streets in no time. And then um, you know, you got Devil's uh dog kicks, one of the uh, one of the best dudes here that's been showing me a lot of love, uh brand new to the channel. And then you got um you got Gomez Law Firm, you know, one of the best law firms in the game today. There is a lot out there, but you know, they got your back. And so many more. I just got a lawn company that's, um, you know, going to do a long term with me. And it's a uh, it's a blessing. And um, I can't I can't uh, explain that enough. And um, shirts will be dropping really soon as of hopefully this Friday, the Halloween edition collaboration with me and my artist. And um, if you haven't seen those shirts, go check me out on Instagram. Just posted a video. And so many different sponsors, like you said, bro. Yeah, so I, said, I can't remember all of them, but one that just came to my head too. Shout out to my boy Potency, uh, my boy Kifa. He has a, a brand called Potency. You know, uh, he he also is a rapper. So I, I'm a I would tune. Yeah, I want you guys to tune into his his music. You know, tap in. He's a uh, out here in Vegas, but he also he's he's from Cleveland, Ohio. So you guys. You know, you tap in and listen to his music. He make dope music. 
Uh, he's actually gonna be walking me out to one of my fights out here. So, damn, that's that's lit, bro. And I can't wait to see what um everything that happens, bro. And you know, I know, I I know it's gonna be memorable. Like you, uh, yeah, you most of the fights, bro. I want y'all to tune into my little brother music too. GB Biggs, his name GB Biggs, man. He make real good music. He's also he's like my main artist that's gonna be walking me out, but that's why my, that's my little brother. But yeah, his is already solidified for the majority of my fights, you know, to walk me out and stuff like that. But he his music is dope. I feel like it. He got things that anybody from any type of background could vibe to. Is different, you know. It's different. He's a he's a, a versatile type of rapper. True. True. And this is the Lawn Company, guys. Uh, if you can see it, it's kind of blurry. Uh, yeah, this is the Instagram right here. I'll leave it in the links in the bio. But they're the one of the newest sponsors. Um, but I I, I want to say like thank you again for coming on the channel, bro. I know. Um, no problem, bro. I had I had a basically got a gap in between. Like, so I just got done. We just getting back in the gym, just staying busy. You know, I wanted to get right back into it, like so that. I'm I'm basically just fine tuning and everything. So this week was just a shakeout week. We get back to sparring next week. Uh, I got strength and conditioning after this interview, probably in the next like forty minutes. So we call that pretty. Yeah. Hell yeah, Hell yeah bro. And in the San Antonio area, if y'all are gonna be um available, you know TMB Promotions, my media pass is right here. You know, uh, y'all pull up. It's gonna be um the address will be in the link in the bio. Um, it's gonna be some good fights. You got um Guerrero Jr., Robert the Ghost's son, is supposed to be on the card. He's gonna y'all watch him. Kevin Ayala, man. That's yeah, that's I, I I ran into him and his dad out here at Top Range. So. Damn, but yeah, he's he's gonna be sharp. We're gonna be doing some big things, you know. Uh, Jose Benavides and his team will be there. Um, he's he uh, works with a bunch of the young fighters out here in San Antonio. Um. Shout out to Rick, big bro Rick. You know, pull up to his fights, man, because it's going to be crazy. Electric. And uh, thank you again for coming on the channel, bro. And uh, yep. let them know where they can follow you at. Uh, you can follow me on Instagram. I don't, I don't really do the other uh, apps too much, but Instagram, I, I'm on there at 2 T-O-O-K-O-L-D underscore underscore underscore. Again, it's T-O-O-K-O-L-D underscore underscore underscore. Facts, bro. I appreciate you again, bro. Thank you again for coming on the channel. And uh, stick with it, bro. I know everything is going to come to fall into place for you. And yeah, for uh, sure. even if you end up on top rank, bro, it's going to be lit. Yeah, no, nah, for sure. Yeah, I'm excited, man. It's going to be lit, for real. Yeah. Y'all go follow Big Dog here, bro. He's been, a, like I said, he's been a big supporter of the channel since day one. Before all this merch and came about, he was there. And, uh, yeah. Big shout out to your family as well, bro. And Thank uh, you. it's been Jaleel, you know, too cold. Damn, fight, you know, November 16th, you know, Mexico. It's been Carlito, one love. We out. Yeah.